Pizza Jack. <laughs> kind of sums up. Watch out, construction on road ahead. Fake and pretentious. That's what the car is. I'm driving the Jaguar F Pace Sport. And although the sport part of it, it kind of lives up to it. The performance is pretty good, especially if you put it in the sport box and use your floppy little uh, gear paddle things. For the rest of it, well, let me tell you about it. When you approach the Jaguar F-Pace, it looks great. It's a big, imposing car. Some might say it even looks a little bit intimidating. If you see it coming up fast behind you in your rear view mirror, uh, you're probably gonna get out of the way. And then you open the door, and written across the uh, the door sill, you've got Jaguar written in uh, illuminated letters, nice warm sort of blue letters. It looks like a top end luxury car. You get in, you've got the faux suede sort of lining all around the uh, the roof lining and the door columns. You got a nice clean dashboard, this really nice massive uh, center display screen. You got a fancy little pop-up gear selector that uh, pops up when you start the engine with the push button engine start. Stitched leather on the center console and the, uh, the dashboard. It all looks like a top end luxury car. And then you drive it for a few minutes. It's a little bit noisy. It's not as quiet as other top-end luxury SUVs. The seat. There's no electronic controls on the seat. Everything's manual. The lumbar support. Well, it might be okay for an 1820 stone guy, but for the average guy, <laughs> the seat's too wide. The lumbar support is too far to the edge. It's too wide. The, uh, the window controls, they're right up, you've got this big wide sort of section at the top of the door. Good for resting your arm on, but a little bit too high really to rest your arm on, comfortable. And that's where your, um, your window controls are, a little awkward to get to. There is another armrest further down the door, which is kind of comfortable, that's okay. The central armrest, that's okay. Big problem, visibility, and the the, um, the window supports. They're really, really wide. And then you've got the little inserts before you get to the glass. And then you've got these massive door mirrors. So when you take doing a left-hand turn, you've got a blind spot about two foot long. Makes left turns really well you're blind <laughs> the ride in the car like I said it's a little bit noisy really for a top end luxury SUV and the ride although the wheels never feel like they're losing contact it feels like it's in control it is, in that respect it's very good but the actual cabin, the ride of it, you feel every undulation. It sort of wallows and undulates on, the, on an uneven motorway surface. It doesn't smooth it out like you'd expect a top-end SUV to do. So really, this is why I'm calling it a fake car. It's fake and pretentious. Another reason I call it a fake luxury SUV is the ride quality. In a real luxury SUV, or a real luxury car, in luxury car. The ride makes you feel like you're traveling 10, 20, 30 miles an hour slower than you actually are, because the ride is that good. On most road surfaces, surfaces this car, makes you feel like you're traveling 10 miles an hour faster than you actually are. 
that's not a good sign. And the speedo bears that out. The speedo reads four, five, six miles an hour faster than the sat nav speedo reads. Which is probably why you see so many of these tootling down the motorway at 66 miles an hour. Because <laughs> it's an indicated 70 on the speedo is 66 on the sat nav. And you genuinely do see these driving around down the motorway at exactly 66 miles an hour. <laughs> Tells you the sort of person who buys one of these that sits at exactly 70 miles an hour. Always in the middle of the fast lane as well, by the way. <laughs> Pretentious kids. Looks the bit. Looks the part. If you want to impress your neighbours, go buy one. Let it sit on your driveway and your neighbours will say, Whoa. Look at them with their fancy Jaguar. Their top end luxury car. Well, to be honest with you, their last week I've driven a Hyundai Tucson twice and they're a lot the performance doesn't match this <laughs> they're a much more comfortable car to drive so if you want to be pretentious and you want to be fake go ahead and buy one of these if you're looking for a luxury SUV you're going to have to buy something else and that's my report on the Jaguar F-Base. Drive safe.